Welcome to the New Castle Courthouse Museum. And know that in coming here today, you have become a part of living history. In this building, Delaware's first state house, the Colonial Assembly gathered. Here, Delaware's founders, such men as Thomas McCain and George Reed, declared their independence from Pennsylvania and England, creating the new Delaware state. From here, Reed, McCain, and Caesar Rodney joined representatives dispatched to the Continental Congress and signed the Declaration of Independence. Here too, Delaware's first state constitution was ratified, and its first state assembly began to exercise independent government. However, wisdom being the better part of valor, the new state capital was soon moved from the town of Newcastle, as its proximity to the Delaware River made it vulnerable to attack by British warships. In 1777, the capital was relocated to Dover, in the central part of the state where it remains today. Built on the site of the first Newcastle Courthouse, constructed in 1689, this structure is one of the oldest surviving courthouses in America. For nearly 200 years, all jurisdictions of Delaware's courts at one time met here. The original central section of the building was completed in 1732 when the cupola was decreed the center of a 12-mile circular boundary that defines Delaware's uniquely curved northern border. As the years passed, architectural modifications were made, including the addition of the left and right wings. But the inspiring physical structure of this courthouse is only part of the story. As Delaware became part of a larger and more complex America, proceedings in this chamber echoed the social discourse of an evolving democracy. Toward the mid-19th century, Delaware became a central route in the flight to freedom for runaway slaves. In 1848, one of the most celebrated trials in the battle to end the practice of slavery took place in this courtroom. Here, the defiant abolitionist Thomas Garrett risked reputation and livelihood to defend his right to transport runaway slaves to freedom. The Newcastle Courthouse continued to witness some of the most important cases in Delaware until the courts were removed to Wilmington in 1881. Today this fully restored National Historic Landmark still anchors the colonial town of Newcastle and is still utilized for important gatherings and occasional court trials. It remains a testament to the vision, courage and determination of its architects and to those who entered here throughout the decades seeking the promises of American democracy. We welcome you now as a part of this historic legacy.